You're an outsider. Hi, I'm Jason Lewis, Midday's Technophile. This video is all about The Outer Worlds, an RPG game that finds humor and hope in a bleak futuristic world run by evil corporations. Fantastic! The Outer Worlds starts with an inspiring advertisement of a futuristic colony called the Halcyon, only to cut to an abandoned spacecraft full of recruits just like yourself. You are rescued by the revolutionary Phineas Wells, who wants your help to overthrow the corporations that rule all life in Halcyon. It sounds a bit bleak, and it is, but the game is much more than its premise. Initiate skip jump. Once you get your attributes, temperaments, skills, and looks sorted, the game throws you head first onto the surface of an alien planet, where it teaches you the basics of survival, combat, and interactions. The writing and the humor are sharp from the get-go, and interacting with people and your ship are a treat. The game allows you to complete missions and move forward in any way you want to, including an opportunity to betray Phineas if you don't want to be part of his revolution. In one town, I ended up gutting everyone and still managed to finish all the objectives needed to move forward. However, the list of botched up missions got very long and deprived me of the many interesting stories in the game. Outer Worlds in its gameplay seems very similar to Fallout. The way you interact with objects, collect and modify things, and even the look screams Fallout. That's not a bad thing considering it is a role-playing title, and Fallout is one of the benchmarks in the genre. It isn't as deep as Fallout though, combine that with the fact that it doesn't take itself too seriously, the game ends up being a light fun adventure. That doesn't mean it isn't replayable. Changing your attributes, skills means you have a different approach to missions, and since this will let you complete quests in any way you want to, it means there are numerous possibilities and multiple endings. Graphically, Outer Worlds is a very pretty looking game. There is a bit of Fallout hangover of course. But instead of one world, you have multiple worlds, each with different looks and different monsters. Though there are a variety of monsters, their behavior patterns are very similar to each other. There are some that will try to maul you, while others will use ranged attacks and there will definitely be a boss amongst them. The Marauders, who are basically space pirates, follow a similar setup as the monsters in the game, except they have guns and robots. The combat in the easiest mode was more for fun than throwing any sort of challenge at you. It merely existed so you can have something to do while moving from one location to the other. I would recommend going at least one level above the easiest mode even if you are new at this. The citizens of Outer World are surprisingly cheery for a people who are oppressed. They seem to internalize their suffering and guilt when they fall sick or miss work or payments. Sorry, business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. The game puts you in many situations where you have to take advantage of this colonist to earn money or complete quests. It feels very wrong and the decisions are made harder as these are choices and not necessity. I, I guess the developers wanted you to feel that while you are playing the game. Outer Worlds is a solid role playing game with a very good main story featuring great writing. It's a perfect addition to any RPG fans collection and is not to be missed, especially if you are a fan of the Fallout series.